having a look at some Riesling uh, from around the world. You have seen quite a few uh, Rieslings this week, but all from one vintage. In Germany, vintage 2010 was a very cold, extremely cold winter. The season was finally saved by what they call, what they call in Germany, Golden October. kept building and building and then we got to today, this morning, 2009, one of the greatest red vintages in Burgundy for probably 10 or 15 years and a flight of DRC wines. You don't get to see those six wines lined up in one go. To me that was a one that was a bit broader on the palate. Uh, it's probably the most powerful structure. Deeper florals than the, uh, the previous one, um, then a deep grapiness depth on, on the nose. A little paler in in colour and initially this was um, the most subdued in the, in the glass but then has opened up. Grand Echazeau, some family resemblance but with distinctly more uh, weight, texture and power. Quite a big leap between those two, mm -hmm. not always as apparent mm. uh, as it was here. The finesse of that wine, the incredible effortless length, I just Oh, when I tasted that wine, I just thought, hallelujah.